Hi, and welcome back to another random car conversation. So you guys, it is Saturday. I hope your day is going great. My day has been awesome. I have got, actually I did, I did a couple of things today, not because I really wanted to, but because I had to, but otherwise my day is going great. I am headed over to Franklin's house because we're going to head down the road for a couple of hours just to get away. And I don't know about you all, but I have gotten accustomed since this whole bad pandemic stuff has taken place. I've gotten accustomed to just... <coughs> excuse me, being in the house and being lazy, being a bum for lack of a better word. And, and I'm all right with that. You know what I mean? Like I am okay with having both of my laptops up, working on two different things. I'm okay with writing out my script for my motivational moments. I'm okay with working on what I want to talk about for my catch up with me videos each week, which by the way, I am caught up. So I'll be recording that video tomorrow for Monday, but I'll be recording it tomorrow after church service because I like to share with you all, and I hope you all are getting something out of those. I like to share with you all what the Sunday service do not pull out what the Sunday service, because I'll snatch some Coke bottles off, our Sunday service was all about. So I hope you all are getting something out of that. And so I'm just like up to date. I do, I, or I should say, I will be working on between this evening and tomorrow, I need to work on my topics for my podcast for the month of July. Actually, uh, my podcast and my motivational moments. I, I want to just, I like to have the topics already laid out for what I want to talk about. Even if I haven't started writing up my notes, I, I still want to have an idea of what I want to talk about. So anyway, let's jump into today's random topic. And I'm going to be very honest with you all. I was in the thinking room before I walked out the house. And yes, I washed my hands. So don't, don't even have, you don't even have to question that, okay? Because I'm a germaphobe. But I was in my thinking room and I said, you know, what can I talk about for today's random car conversation? And what I came up with seems to have changed since I got in my truck. But I want to talk about sacrifice. Now, I think we all have an idea of what sacrificing is all about, but I wanted to talk about the importance of sacrificing. And I just thought about how, if you really think about it, no matter what you want to do in life, you have got to sacrifice something or some things, depending on what it is that you want to accomplish. And so if you want to lose weight or let's say you want to build up more muscle <clears throat> or, or anything dealing with your health, you're going to have to sacrifice some of the foods that you love to eat. So if you love going through the Wendy's and or the McDonald's drive through and you're trying to get healthier, you're going to have to sacrifice going to those places, yes. Now, you know, in the beginning, you may not necessarily cut them off altogether, but you will have to sacrifice the amount of time that you spend at those places if you're going to get to those goals. If you want to build up your financial portfolio, it's going to require you to sacrifice the way you spend money. So that means that you can't go out here just spending money like you have lost your last good your your last good nerve or spending money like you are just drowning in a sea of it and you can afford to spend it any way you see fit. If you are going to if you're looking to um, to pay off your bills I don't know about you all, but I know this system right here has student loans. But if you want to pay off your bills, you're going to, again, have to sacrifice some stuff. So maybe it means that you only get your nails done once a month. You only get your hair done once a month. You are not 
going out or maybe you're not vacationing as much as you would like to or not necessarily even vacationing but you know going out of town on the weekends as often maybe you only go once a quarter or twice a year but it's going to cost it's going to cost you some sacrificing and and here's one of my favorites along with the whole getting physically healthy but if you want to build your business and you're trying to move up in let's say your professional life it's going to cost you some sacrifices it's going to mean that you are going to have to change the people that you associate with you're going to have to upgrade if you will your inner circle and i'm not saying that the people that you know and or that you hang out with now can't still be friends of yours but you're going to have to sacrifice your inner circle because if you're trying to get to the next level that means you're going to have to meet some different people you're going to have to start meeting people that can help you get to the next level because here's what I know when you have friends and their goals are not the same as your goals in terms of you know trying to build a business or you know start a business or grow your business or whatever it is dealing with business then you are going to have to excuse me y'all my sinuses are draining you're going to have to upgrade your inner circle I am thankful that the people that I hang around with the most have businesses and we're all business-minded individuals and and so I'm good in that area but sometimes you will have to sacrifice I should say and again I'm not saying you can't be friends with with the people that you know I wouldn't say just kick them to the curb kick them over into the woods behind your house I'm not telling you to do that what I am telling you is that you're gonna have to cut back on the amount of time that you spend with them Okay, if y'all are always hanging out at Pookie's house or Shanene's house, you're going to have to cut that out. That's got to go. Maybe you catch up with them once every blue moon and you can let them know, hey, look, love y'all dearly, but I'm, I'm on a different level. And I tell you, as I said that, I thought about Steve Harvey because he talked, I've watched a video, actually I've seen a couple of his videos where he talked about that very thing where, you know, as he was trying to grow his, his business and his career, even though, and a lot of those people, he had to cut them out anyway because they told him that he wasn't going to never be nothing and that he was stupid for giving up his job at General Motors where he was making good money and he was going to have a, a nice pension when it was time for him to retire. So those people were not encouraging him to, to go for what it was that he knew that God was calling him to do. So that's a whole nother story for a whole nother time. But what I'm saying is <laughs> he talks about that. He says sometimes you've got to get rid of your inner circle and start hanging out with some different people. So if I'm trying to grow my business, I need to hang out with business-minded people. I can't hang out with people that are content with hanging out on the corner or they're content with, with where they are because they don't want any more anything else out of life. You know what I'm saying? They're content with being right where they are. I can't hang out with those people because they're not going to be able to help me get to the next level. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because I, I know sometimes people will say, oh, look at that. She's getting all brand new. She thinks she's all of this. She thinks she's all of that. And that's not what it is at all. What it is is that you're trying to get to the next level and you know that hanging out with those people is not going to get you there because they don't want much out of <clears throat> want much out of life. They're content with being where they are. And they're not trying to do anything different. So all I'm saying is I just really want you guys to start thinking about what it is that you need to sacrifice. Mm, this young lady has bright blonde and bright pink braids in her hair. All right. Anywho, anyhow, uh, but yeah, I, I digress. Start to think about what is it that you need to sacrifice to get to where you want to be. And I guarantee you there's something that we all need to sacrifice. Some of you all are in relationships with people that you love dearly. 
but those people are not supporting your goals they're not supporting your dreams and i again i'm so thankful that i have family and friends that support and a significant other that supports what it is that god has called me to do and so i'm thankful but everybody doesn't have that and that's unfortunate so again start looking at your inner circle and then work out from there figure out oh and you know what else i forgot to mention too when i talked about that whole getting healthy piece you know sometimes you're gonna have to sacrifice some sleep because you might have to get up and get to the gym early in the morning because you know that once your day gets started it goes downhill really quickly because you're so busy and you have so many things that you need to do so maybe you need to sacrifice an hour hour and a half maybe even two hours of sleep so that you can get up and get to the gym to get your workout in when it comes to your business you may have to sacrifice some sleep and stay up an extra hour hour and a half or two or <laughs> get up that 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 same amount of time to work on your business because again you know that once you get up your day is going to get going and you're not going to be able to get to your business because what I will caution you about is if you are only if you are only Jesus Christ turn the corner my god don't you hate when people creep up to the corner then it takes them two days to turn it anyway I digress again if you are only working on your business <clears throat> on the weekends, that is not a good thing. You need to be working on your business every day. And here's why I say that. If you can get your hunches up every morning and go to your nine to five, then every day you need to be working on your business. Yes, I know that you have to go to work because going to work is what's paying your bills. I got that. But by the same token, You've got to also, you also have to work on your business every day. Now, I'm not saying that you can afford to put in eight, nine hours a day on your business because maybe you can't like you do on your nine to five. And I get that. But you need to be working on your business every day. Do not wait until the weekend and say, okay, now I'm going to work on my business. No, work on your business every day. It doesn't even matter if all you can do is work on your business an hour out of the day. Doesn't matter. You need to spend time on your business, period, end of sentence, okay? If you have a problem with that, you, you take it up with me individually because I'm telling you what I know. You've got to do that. You've got to make that's that's that whole sacrificing piece. And and you might have to sacrifice what I'm thinking about. You may have to sacrifice not going to the game. Whatever game that may be, baseball, basketball, football, whatever it is, you may have to sacrifice not going to that game because you need to work on your business. I'm just saying, y'all. So that's it. I have reached my destination. And I am going to park. I don't know why the mail truck is sitting all up in my daggone space, but it's all good. But yeah, I am going to go on in here so we can get ready and get on down the road. But again, I just wanted to leave you all with that thought that you need to sacrifice. And, and you may not know what areas you need to sacrifice in, but I need you to look at your life. Look at your life from A to Z and everything in between and figure out what areas of your life you need to sacrifice in and then make that sacrifice because you are worth it. Do you all realize that you are worth it? You deserve to have the things that you want to have in life, but if you are not willing to sacrifice, you will never get to them. Do you all understand what I'm saying? If you're not willing to sacrifice, you will never, ever, ever get to the things that you want to get to in life. And I'm serious about that. And I've watched people. And one of the things that I think a lot of older people regret, because I've heard people say this before, Michelle, you know what? I wish I had the motivation and the drive that you have, excuse me, to, to have worked on my goals because then I would have completed the things that I wanted to complete. But I put everything else first. And I'm not saying some of those other things are not important because you do need to take care of your family and you do need to take care of yourself. But if there's a goal that you have, you need to put that high up on your priority list, okay?
So that's all I have, you guys. I want to wish you all again a very, very happy Saturday. It's a little muggy outside. It's 75 degrees. As you can see, the sun's not really out, but it is kind of muggy. And I do see some cicadas, so I'm going to hope to God that they do not come over and pay me a visit. But I just, again, want to encourage you, start going after your dreams. Put everything you have. Do you understand? Y'all, let me say this. Do you understand that the millionaires of the world today, they are where they are because they sacrificed. They knew how to sacrifice to get what they wanted. And I'm just asking that you all do the same thing. That's it. That's all I'm doing. I'm asking that you all do the same thing. Because if you're not willing to sacrifice, then you ain't going to ever get what, get, get what you want. You're not going to be able to achieve your goals. Because you're not willing to, to sacrifice. So again, that's all I have, you guys. You all enjoy the rest of your day. Go out and enjoy this weather. Have fun. Stay safe, you know, continue, in my opinion, to socially distance yourself, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. And let me tell you something, I keep me some sanitizer. Here's some sanitizer right here. I have a bottle in my glove compartment. I actually have two in my purse. I had one in, in here in my glove box. I don't know what I did with it, but I keep my hand sanitizer because Michelle is not playing around. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna spray on some even as I speak because you know, when I got in the car, I had to touch the doorknob. And, and uh, yeah, so you all enjoy the rest of your day. Have fun. Go out and do something fun. But don't forget to work on your list of things that you can sacrifice starting today and going forward. And I promise you, your goals will be that much closer to obtain if you start to sacrifice. If you're new to my... Instagram page. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video, letting letting me, you know, encourage you because that's what my page is all about is just encouraging people. I hope that something I said motivates you and moves you to to want to start to sacrifice and work towards your goals. For those of you that have watched my videos before, thank you so much for giving me just a little bit of your time. I truly appreciate each and every one of you because I couldn't do what I do without you all. And you know the drill, you know my spiel. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Absolutely nothing at all. And you can always take that to the bank because I truly mean it from the bottom of my heart. And never, ever, ever forget that I love you even when nobody else likes you. Till next time, take care.